How's it doing everybody? Today I'm coming at you with a guy talking about the best way to get Zamorak wines for particularly an Iron Man account. I mean, you can get them on the main this way, but you're probably better off farming GP and buying them if you have access to the Grand Exchange. So this is mostly for Iron Men who are looking to get Zamorak wines to make their ranging potions with their dwarf weeds. So traditionally the way Iron Men have gotten their Zamorak wines have been one of two ways. They could either get them from Calfi Queen, which is about 120 wines per hour, maybe a little bit more if you've got an efficient gear setup and have access to some PVM equipment, or you could also telegrab them from the Chaos Temple near the Goblin Village. Uh, recently there was an update where you can now telegrab them in the wilderness, but um, that's honestly just as efficient from the Chaos Temple, maybe a little bit more efficient because there's less bots, but regardless. Uh, that method is under 120 wines per hour uh, from my calculations, even with the looting bag because of competition and all that other stuff. So today we'll be talking about a different method, one that's really not widely known. Uh, it's the Zamorak Grapes method from Tithe Farm. Now the Zamorak Grapes method involves growing your own grapes and using blessings on the grapes to make them Zamorak Grapes and fermenting your own wines with those Zamorak Grapes. Uh, this method yields overall less wines per hour, but you also get an additional about 100k farming XP per hour, uh, which is like very huge because when you telegrab or you're killing Calphite Queen, um, you're generally not getting that much XP. If you're on task for Calphite Queen, yeah, that's probably the better way to do it, but uh, specifically I'm a hardcore Iron Man, so I don't plan to do Calphite Queen in the near future. And that method is not a vi viable option for me. So if you're in the same position as me and you really can't consider doing Calphite Queen, uh, or you aren't confident in your Calphite Queen ability and don't even want to consider that as an option, uh, this I feel like is a very comparable method to telegrabbing your own wine. Now generally, uh, this method is about 50, maybe 60 wines per hour, depending on how efficient you are. Uh, but Generally, people don't really like Tithe Farms, so there's that factor to weigh in. It's a lot of XP, you get some wines, and, but it's also Tithe Farm, and a lot of people don't like Tithe Farms, so take that as you may. But uh, yeah, I'm going to explain the method here now. Uh, I should have had a clip rolling in the background about me just quickly running through Tithe Farm. This is not intended to be a guide on how to do Tithe Farm, the minigame itself but more so on the Zamrock Wines portion, I guess. So you can expect to get just over 60 points per hour, and the ratio between Seeds and Blessings, which you'll be using to create the Zamrock Wines, is like 5 to 1. So you'll be spending a small portion on the Grape Seeds and the large majority on the Blessings. Uh, you'll also be in the process of getting Cooking XP. It's very minuscule amounts, so I don't really contribute that towards the efficiency factor but it's something to also pay attention to since you're here anyway. Um, the cooking XP is the exact same that you get for uh, fermenting regular wine, so it's 200 per wine. So without further ado, let's get into exactly how you unlock the Zamrock wines. So the first thing you want to do is you come here next to your farmer, Greg Kohler guy, and you'll be wanting to bring 75k, which I already have done this, so I don't have it, but you'll also need to be bringing a Zamorak item. I have a Zamorak Miter, but I believe a book, a blessing, whatever item you have that's Zamorak related will work. Uh, you're going to want to come up these stairs right here, talk to this Beloga person, and you'll run through some dialogue. I believe it's option one eight, multiple times, and she'll ask you if you want to unlock the Beloga's blessing. The blessing will be what allows you to turn the grapes into the the Zamrock grapes so that you can make the Zamrock wines. Next what you're going to want to do is now when you trade the Farmer Grykohler you'll see this new item Beloga's Blessing that you can now buy from his shop and you can now use that to make your Zamrock wines. Uh, but you'll also be needing to buy grape seeds at the same time. So for every one grape seed you get about 10 grapes so yeah that's why I said the ratio is about 5 to 1. So you can only plant 12 grape seeds at once so I'm going to buy 12. I'm also going to buy probably about a hundred Belogus Blessings right now. Once you have your grape seeds, you're going to want to make your way just east uh, to the vinery over here. You're also going to want to pick up some Saltpeter. 
Uh, I got this from Wintertide, but you can also dig it uh, in the Hosidius house, like where the big giant holes are that you can dig this up here. And this will act as your fertilizer for the grapes. Now, what you don't want to use is you want to use the saltpeter on the vine patch, and this will fertilize it. And with the fertilizer, you will have 100% protection. Your grapes should never die. I don't think you can even plant them without the saltpeter, but I mean, I can try that right now, but I don't recommend it, seeing as if it can die. Yeah, no, it won't even let you. So there you go. Use your saltpeter. It makes it survive 100% of the time. There is 12 patches here, so that's why I bought 12 seeds. So you got six on one side and six on the other. So we're going to fill up all these patches now. So the grape plants take 35 minutes to grow, uh, which means you can do them every two tithe farm cycle runs. But at the same time, you won't be able to get enough of the blessings in order to use them all in that time frame anyway. So it's not really that big of a rush unless you decide to do them outside the time frame that you are doing your tithe farm. If you decide to strictly just grow grapes and not do the Zamrock wine method, you can expect to get an extra 12k uh, per run on average of doing grape seeds. So if you decide to do them every two times you're doing tithe farm, that adds an extra 12k to your XP per hour, giving you spend like five-ish minutes. So probably towards a grand total of uh, about 100k XP per hour compared to like 90 or something that you'll be getting if you choose not to just grow strictly grapes. If your main goal is actually herbal or XP instead of farming XP, then this is definitely the way you want to go because obviously the Zamorak wines will give you more herbal or XP and that's what I'm here for in addition to the farming XP, so keep that in mind. Anyway, that's enough rambling for right now. I am going to let these grape plants grow since they've already grown a tick anyway. Uh, it should be another 30-ish minutes, and I'll be back to show you guys exactly how to use the blessings and to get your Zamorak grapes. Okay guys, well it's been about 30 minutes now, and let's go harvest the grapes. It's honestly really simple. All you need to do is just have the blessings in your inventory, and then you just harvest the grapes. Um, so you get uh, 640 XP just for checking the health, and then you'll gain roughly like 9 to 10 grapes on average. I think it scales a little bit with your farming level, but for my level, I'm getting about 9 to 10. Um, so as you can see here, I got quite a bit more, actually. 13. Um, and then all you need to do is just clear the dead vine when you're done, and then restart the process all over again. These patches won't get weeded, so that's kind of nice, I guess. And yeah, so you can expect to get about 1,000... XP-ish per grapevine, which like I said earlier yields about 12k per run. So ultimately it's up to you guys to decide if this is worth it for you. I think the trade-off of less grapes per hour, less wines per hour uh, with the farming XP is worth it for me personally, but that's up to you guys. Uh, if you want the Zamrock wines right now and you can't wait and you don't care about the farming XP, then yeah, sure, go ahead and telegrab them. But I'm also looking to get farming experience. So I think efficiency wise, this method works really great. Anyway, guys, I hope you learned something through this video. Even if you decide not to do this method, uh, I feel like there's not a lot of content talking about it out there. So I think it's a viable method to do. And I think it deserves a little bit more recognition than it gets, especially for Iron Man. So that being said, I think that I'll do it for this episode. Um, leave a like, comment if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe, maybe. <laughs> it's up to you, but... Overall, thank you guys for watching, take care, and see you guys later.